Hey, it's Rebecca. Welcome back to my channel where I have been sharing everything about online business that I am learning along the way. And I've been showing you exactly what I am doing behind the scenes to grow several different diversified income streams online, including my recent favorite, publishing low content books on Amazon KDP. If you're new to my channel and you end up finding this video helpful, which I hope you will, go ahead and hit subscribe. It really helps support me and lets me know that there are other online entrepreneurs out there that are working to build their own businesses in the comfort of their home and the flexibility of their own time. Today, I am jumping right in to do a little bit of research on the upcoming Valentine's holiday and see if there are any niches in the Valentine's Day market that I can create a few books for. So I know that everybody has their different strengths and weaknesses, and one thing I actually love to do is the competitive research of everything. I'm personally not a big graphic designer and not always very creative minded, but I do like finding the data and going through to try to find the winning products that I can create for. So if you are like me and you don't care what you create, you just want to know it will sell, hopefully this video will help give you some ideas. So right now I am on Amazon in an incognito window and that's because I don't want any of my personal old searches to influence what Amazon shows me. I want to start with a neutral playing field to try to get a more general idea of what people are searching for right now. So if I start by typing in Valentine's Day, you can see that already Valentine's Day decorations and gifts for kids is popping up as a suggestion. And even though we are focused on books specifically, I might just start by clicking on Valentine's Day gifts for kids. Now what this does for us is it shows us, number one, what people are looking for. So even if it's not books, we can get a sense of what is trending. And number two, it can give us some ideas. So if you don't have kids within the certain age group you're targeting, or you're not familiar with what kids are loving right now, you might be able to get some insight into which cartoon characters are the trendiest or what the cool animal of the year is. Maybe it's you think it's still unicorns, but it's now a dragon or whatever else kids are loving at the time. You can also see here, you can get an idea for V is for instead of Valentine video games. So just scrolling at the right page gives me some ideas. Something like this t-shirt design might be the type of direction I want to take a book cover design in order to target a good gift idea for boys for Valentine's Day instead of all of the pink cheery hearts everywhere else. However, right here on the first page, we do also see a Valentine's Day activity book for kids ages 6 through 12. So something I might do is go ahead and click on that. Obviously, it is doing well if it's made it to the first page of Valentine's Day gifts for kids. And by clicking on it, we can see that this person, I believe, is one of us, a KDP publisher, and has just published this book on January 7th last year. So this Valentine's Day book was published just a year ago, and it gives us a great idea for a book that you can publish for Valentine's Day. You can see that as an activity book, while we cannot peek inside, we can look at the back cover and see that this book is going to have some word searches, some connect the dots, some mazes, some coloring pages, and will target a market of ages 6 to 12 years old. So if you're keeping a notes section as you do this, Valentine's Day gifts for kids, activity book, a very popular book idea. And if we scroll down, we can see through sponsored items and frequently bought together recommendations that we can get some other ideas. So we can see this Valentine's Day I Spy book. Now this is really interesting because it's a hardcover book that was just published two years ago. And I haven't seen many authors use this hardcover process yet. So that might be one way that you can attempt to stand out by publishing a book that's hardcover and seems like a longer term keepsake. Or if I scroll back, I remember that I saw, here we go, a Valentine's Day joke book for kids. So if you are a funny person or if you have played with AI at all, you might be able to get some 
Valentine's jokes put together to create a joke book. There is another Valentine's Day book with a different a fox on the front instead of some lovebirds. And if we keep scrolling down, let's see what else we can find. We can see that there's a Be My Valentine coloring book. We have some dinosaur coloring, and it seems like a lot of these are focused on activity books, joke books, and coloring books. Looks like we also have a color by number, which is an even deeper niche of the coloring or activity book section. So that would be a clever way to niche down even more. And so there, even with typing in nothing but Valentine's Day or Valentine's Day gifts, we already have three or four really strong niches that we know are selling for Valentine's Day that we can publish in. And we haven't even had to try to create any of these ideas for ourselves to research. Now, if you do wanna go a little deeper or you don't want to work in the kids activity book section, we can also go back and type in something like a Valentine book for adults. You can see that some of these are just coloring books that maybe are a little more mature or maybe even the same type of designs for kids, but they are marketed for adults. But there's a swear word coloring book. There is an activity book that maybe is a little more difficult than the one that was made for children. And I guess I'm thinking maybe something like, here we go. What if we say Valentine for mom again i did not type in book this time so i'm just seeing gift ideas but you can see that a lot of these gift ideas for moms have butterflies flowers they're very plant related and so if you do something like a journal but you wanted it to be specifically for mom you could do an i love you mom with a cover that has a little bit of a floral butterfly design and she could use year round but feels very specific to a valentine's day holiday now the other thing i will do to dive a little deeper is head over here to where i am logged into my account and you can see that I have searched for Valentine's Day already at the bottom here. But because I am logged in over here to two of my favorite tools, you can see that my self-publishing Titans extension is showing me all of these suggestions at once for keyword searches that customers are looking for with the word Valentine. So there are a ton of them, and maybe I will type in Valentine book just to narrow it down. But this extension, and I do have an affiliate link that I will drop below for you if you're interested. This is a fantastic tool for competitive research and so much more. But it gives you the ideas that some key searches are to hone in on books for toddlers, or kids of specific age ranges, like three to five or eight to 10. And you might see terms that you're not familiar with, which is always fun because that's how you start going down the rabbit hole. For instance here, Grace Valentine book. I don't know if that's a specific person or if they're looking for a book about having grace for yourself, like a personal journal. So if I type in Grace Valentine book, we see here, Wow, okay, if you don't have self-publishing titans, you might not be as excited as I am right now, but if you become familiar, you can see that one of the cool things, even with the free version, is that it gives you this niche score, and 79, this is out of 100, I have been using this for over a year, and I've never seen a niche score this high, so there could be something weird going on in this algorithm, or there's obviously something I don't understand about Grace Valentine book, but you can see that the number of results is incredibly low, 651. Only one person has independently published a title at all that falls into this realm, but people are searching for it, and so therefore it is pulling together this algorithm that is telling us that it has high opportunity right now. Now, scrolling through, I am still not seeing anything specific that 
hints to me what the search for Grace Valentine book is actually looking for. Um, so I might turn to Google and look into that. And anybody watching this, I just handed you some of the best keywords I've ever seen. And so you are more than welcome to hit the road running and try to make yourself a book that stands out for the keyword Grace Valentine book. Um, absolutely. And if you do and you sell one, please comment here and let me know. I would be so thrilled for you. Um, in fact, I am probably going to turn around this afternoon and make something that falls into the category of Grace Valentine book, to be perfectly honest, and we'll see what we'll see what comes of it. So if you're curious to follow that journey, make sure you are subscribed and you hit the notification bell because I'm curious to see what that's about as well. Now that, of course, is my self-publishing Titans extension, and you can see that I have other suggestions popping up. I do have too many extensions loaded up here, and so my Amazon keyword extension tool is also popping up. This is not the browser I usually use, but you can see that this extension helps show me searches that have keywords before, keywords after, or other, so sometimes the keyword is stuffed in the middle. Um, but if I look for something like a keyword journal, we do have suggestions from Titans Pro popping up. But if I click out of that, you can see that my extension tool does at least give me one that a Valentine gift journal could potentially be a good fit. As we let this load here, I'll say that the one thing that was nice is if you saw the Titans extension did give me more suggestions than just this one that the Amazon keyword tool did. So that is a reason that I have both loaded up. Um, I do like to go back and forth. And this takes a second to analyze the keyword, but once it does, we will have a niche score pop up again on the side here. So while we wait, I am going to scroll down and look through other good ideas that we can use as Valentine's Day niche books. Now here's a unique one you might want to jump into is I love that you're my granny because so this looks like a, here we go, personalized journal Valentine's Day. It's marketed as a children's Valentine's Day book and you fill it in to write reasons why you love and appreciate and it's specifically for a grandmother. So you can turn this around and add one for mom, dad, grandfather, etc. And it's a low content book. So all you do is create a couple designed interior pages to make it a little beyond a plain blank journal but essentially you are leaving it to the buyer to fill in the blanks and create their own story. We scroll back up, it does look like Titans does not love this niche. Valentine gift journal is maybe not the strongest keyword. How about something like a mini Valentine coloring book? We'll see that there are less results popping up here, but that's another creative way to think about what folks might be looking for. By creating a mini coloring book, you don't have to create a classic eight and a half by 11 or a four sized activity pad. You could create something smaller at the minimum sizes that Amazon KDP allows you to. And there might be buyers that find that to be the perfect fit. That might go well in the hands of the stuffed animal that they're gifting to somebody. Whatever it is, you can find a way to put your own unique spin on these books that makes them stand out in the crowd. So I think I am gonna spend a little bit of time going down the Valentine's Day rabbit hole here, but hopefully this has helped you get some insight into how I think as I start the process of digging through keywords and gives you a jump start on your Valentine's Day research. Yes, it is just over a month away. However, these books can be created in just a couple of days and published in just a couple of days as well. So you could still have this book up and live well before Valentine's Day to make some sales from. And even though it is a very seasonal niche, that book is not going anywhere and can sell again next year and the year after. If you do end up publishing a Valentine's Day book or you found this video helpful, please leave a comment below. I'm always curious as to what parts of my journey are helping others the most so that I can create more content around it. Until next time, bye.